Right, fuckers. Motherfucking uh, tutorial time, yes. Uh, this, I, I, I may be doing some fucking more tutorials, but this is uh, important for me, so this is what I'll be doing. Right, let me just mount the project draft real quick. What that will do, I don't explain in here. Grammar is not uh, a thing today, because fuck you and you trying to understand. What I will be doing is just, you know, going over posing, because people will be having problems with that. Even though the people do be kind of wanting to know how to do that. So I'll be kind of doing showing you, yes. What the fuck? Yeah, well, what I was saying is I'll show you a bit how to, you know, make a pose. And, and for the people in my beautiful new dev discord, uh, I'll, I'll, of course. Where's Tuka's role? Why is he not blue? His name should be blue. Uh, uh, um... You know how to how to how to get that shit to me to implement and what, right? So uh, you I I presume that you have the Armor Rig version six point two, as that is the newest from what I know of, and the one I am using. I am using a bit of a modified though, where I have a modified one where I have the clone phase one armor in here as well, so I can see how it looks as a clone, but that is not that necessary, and uh, yes. It's just for fancy stuff. Right, so let, let, let me explain the basics, I suppose, is what's important. You know, if let's first go over the control of Blender, because people don't know those. Because some people want to do poses, but don't know the basics of Blender. So, right, uh, you have your mouse. Your mouse is your most important tool with your keyboard. The keyboard is even a bit more important if you actually do modeling and shit, because you can do everything with just the keyboard. If you are cool, I can't even model with my mouse and keyboard, so... It's gonna be basic. If you press down your middle mouse button, your mouse wheel, you can uh, move the mouse, you can rotate like that, which is cool. If you press shift and press down the mouse, uh, middle mouse button and uh, move your mouse, you can, you know, you know, go ahead like that. I have no idea how to turn on, like, uh, where it shows what button I press, but that's cool, that's okay. And if you press control uh, while pressing down your move uh, mouse button, the middle mouse button, and go up and down, you can zoom like that, but you can also just you scroll in and scroll out. Um, yeah, pressing Alt and using uh, pressing middle mouse button and moving your mouse gives you the flat views, 2D views, which is you know quite nice for modeling and shit. But that's about it. Uh, yes. Did I forget anything? Oh, I don't think so. Right then, let's start. Uh, good. You see all these beautiful bibs and bops on this human man. Very human, very man, very, very person and all. Um, yeah, most of this stuff is not important for that because, like, everything here is a bone, as you can see. This is a bone. This is... Oh, the rotating bone. Oh, wow. This is a bone, and if you try to move it like that, you... Create a monster. Fairly, you know. Yes. So, what you are interested in are the circles. Every circle is a good circle, you know, except these ones. These circles are bad circles. Don't trust them. But these circles are cool. And uh, these things are cool. And yes, this circle is generally cool as well. Uh, what you first want to do if you want to do custom armor poses is um, press G. Uh, I mean, first you select this, then I go. Uh, you go to 2D view, which you can do like that as well. Press G and press Z or Z, wherever you come from, and you move this on up so that this green thingy is on the X axis, like with, on on power. So it's um, on the bottom, on the floor of Blender, actually, and not just somewhere in the air because that is important for some reason because shit is gay. Right. So let's let, let's get started. The f the main buttons you need is. Uh, I yeah, R, G, and R. If you select this, so this beautiful triangle here, and press G, you can move the whole arm. Great. If you press R, you can rotate your hand a bit. If you press R twice, you get this different symbol, and you can rotate the hand even cooler. Rotating stuff is cool. Um, yes, R is like the one you use the most, pretty much. And yeah, let's go to the special symbols we have around here. First, let's start with moving the hand into a cool position like that. Wow, he's so tactical. But you see, 
Like, or let's get him like this. Like, we want him to touch his face because that's what you do in a pandemic, right? Mm, nice, but this is not how a human, a human arm should be. So you grab this little purple thingy and press G and move it a bit about. And bada boom, bada bang, you see, you brought the arm around. Um, yeah, the hand is still not the way a human should have it, but yeah, oh, look at him. Look at him touching his face. Uh, I suggest you try to avoid clipping as much as possible while keeping it natural. Uh, if that doesn't do the trick uh, for the arm rotation, you can also use the front loop thingy and get the arm a bit up or down, depending on what you like. This one is for uh, rotating the arm. I, I haven't done anything with that. I never did it till now. And yeah, you know, if you if you want him to raise his shoulder a bit. Sure, why not? I mean, that is totally how a human would do it, right? Lovely. But you don't like how his fingers are spread there. So, what you do is you get to uh, go to these two arrows here, and you press G. And you move them together, or... You spread them more, but I want them very close to each other. But now you feel like you should actually, you know, Make his hand a bit round. So you. So, oh, why is it not doing the fist? Ah, oh, there we go. So you select the fist symbol here, conveniently. And you know, you go quite careful and uh, make his hand not a flat palm, but a bit rounder. Cool stuff. Now you want him to actually put his face into the hand, so you use either of these. I mean, I'd suggest these for the, just the upper neck bones, well, this is like the whole neck, and this is weird. Like, you can do some very weird stuff here with this, and you know what, let's spread the fingers again. The only bones you actually need to edit manually sometimes are the actual fingers here. To get stuff like that and get this finger out of his eye, like, what the fuck. And yeah, now you have this. Right, um, cool, you can also select this down here to edit the foot. You can rotate it to, you know, get, like, stuff like that. You can also just go to this one and rotate the feet a little bit, the feces. Or here to, I don't know why you should do that, actually, but you can do it. Uh, you also have this arrow down here, these two arrows. Which are to, oops, add uh, the fucking leg things and yes, uh, and this is uh, this little box here shows where the gun currently will or will be in the game. So uh, and it'll always move with the hand because they're parented together because that's how it's supposed to be. So you always have to, if you want him to hold the gun, you have to place it in the hand on your own roughly in the hands, like, uh, they provide the beautiful hand, a gun model for an M4, I think it is. I'm not a gun person. I'm terribly sorry. I can tell you Star Wars guns, though, because I know Star Wars. Uh, and, you know, get the fist down, so he looks like he's about to fuck your life up. Oi, me. Heard you were talking shit about me. Watch out, I'll come in your fucking neighbor and go, -ta 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 -ta! you know, like that. And if you want him to be extra extra ballerina, you can just go ahead and do this. This is the launcher position, as you can see where the launcher is. So if you want him to be like, oh, yeah, I'm so special, I have the launcher on my back. Of course, nothing is stopping you from doing that. There we go, he has a launcher on his back. Right, and uh, yes, let's have him crunched a bit down. Let's adjust the hand for that position. Oh dear, that looks rather unhealthy. And done. If you want to do a nice screenshot and don't want people to get confused by all these boobs and bobs around here, you can go into your scene collection and just press the little eye icon on the armor rig. And there you go. You have that. If you if you don't like the pistol as well, you can find the M9 pistol and just don't show it. As easy as that. You can do that with everything. You can have a floating cap, floating hat, and a naked man. 
Ooh. But yeah. That is how you, how you do it. And if you want to, you know, if you wish you want to send it to me to get it into a mod. And if you conveniently have the Arma 3 toolbox, you can just select all, export as an Arma 3 RTM animation, just send me that with the fitting name. But if you don't have that, that's completely fine. You save as and you know, save it as something like Cool Boy Mark Two. Boom, and then you just send me the Cool Boy Mark Two. And as easy as that, you make your own beautiful animation. Uh, uh, animation, I mean, I mean, uh, just a static pose. Animations are with keyframes frames and shit. That's a bit more stuff. But, you know, that's okay. I can go here and pose. Clear all. Oh. Now we have this. Two more. Looks like he's glitching so yeah you should you would need to you know expand the frames like go ahead and do 200 for all I care all right can I clear the keyframes here did it keyframes all right can I just uh fucking oi there we go let's do put an S in here as well and now pose clear transform all so now we have a 10 frame animation of that isn't it lovely but yeah you could just export those as a blend as well and uh, send it to me and I'll get it I tried my best to get it in game that's how you do it if you have any questions you can ping me on the discord you know my name and I, I love you see you around